Hi everyone, hope you're doing well. This is another coaster video tutorial, this time in Sapphire. So please do start by wearing a mask, it's really important that you do. And in this particular video I'm using blues, blues and whites. And all of the description of all of the products that I've used will be down below if you wish to purchase the same. So in that cup I have some blue. I am then adding some white, just to make it a little lighter. Make sure you do mix these two parts very well. I have there a tiny bit of black alcohol ink. And that's so that I can make slightly deeper shade of blue because I really wanted kind of a sapphire type blue which is quite dark almost black blue I'll keep going and adding until I get the right consistency so in another cup I'm adding some more resin with the same blue and do mix your colours up really well because mica can leave little lumps inside of your resin and as you pour it will be very difficult to take it out. So I start with a darker colour on the outside. And I'm just filling that up right to the top. So I'm using up all of my clear until it reaches the top of the uh, coaster set. In this particular case, I'm not going to be doing a top coat. You don't always need to do a top coat if the final finish is, it, is as you like. Nice, shiny, clear. 
so a quick step to get rid of the bubbles. And then I've got some bronze leaf. It's not gold, it's not silver, it's bronze. I wanted something different for a change. I'm adding some clear resin into a cup. And you want this quite thick, so you want just a little resin. And you can see the consistency, it's almost just covering it very, just a little. And when you pour it in the middle, what it will do is it will sink down. At least that's what you want it to do. You want to push it down as much as you can. But you want to do this bit once it's already found its way to the middle, once it's stopped moving. So this is just a close-up as they're drying and sometimes that lovely effect that you see doesn't always stay. It really does depend on how much mica you've put in. And it's pretty tricky to get the right balance because it's more or less trial and error. This is going to dry uh, for 24 hours and then I'll demold. I always like to cover it with a box. If you want to do that, make sure nothing falls inside, no bits of dust or... So I'm using a Posca pen for this. It's a bronze Posca pen. It's very simple to do. Um, it's almost much easier than using a paintbrush with liquid gold. Plus I didn't have any liquid gold in the bronze color and I wanted it to match the bronze leaf in the middle. So you kind of push down, go all the way around the sides and the top and you can place that thick, that line as thick as you like, it's up to you. In this particular case I've done a nice thick border 